President Bola Tinobu was in a war yesterday to commemorate, uh, commemorate with the traditional leaders as well as family of the former governor over the demise of Oluwaro Timia Kirudulu. He will also met with leaders of the Yoruba Social Cultural Group of Feniferi at the residence of Pa Ruben Fasonroti in Akure. He declared that his administration is working towards ensuring that Nigeria is reformed for greater efficiency with fairness and equity in all aspects of national life. He also emphasized his commitment to leading Nigeria towards economic and social prosperity. Let's talk about what happened um, on that visit. I'm joined by APC Chief Tenino Ndo State, Bolai Lori. Uh, Mr. Lori, thank you so much for joining us on the program thank this evening. So, you know, his visit coinc coincided with the um, proposed second day of the Labour Congress strike. Uh, how was it received in Ondo by the people? Uh, I want to say that uh, it was a very good outing for the president. Uh, one thing became clear that yes, people are going through a lot. I accept anybody that wants to uh, paper sugar coat the, sugar reality. Coat the yes. reality. The reality is that people are going through tough time, and uh, the tough time was not lost on Ondo people. But nobody came out to protest. People came out to pray for the president. That was what mm. we witnessed yesterday. There is no government or organization or party that can uh, cover up the, the, the reaction of the people. Because people were on the streets. If they, will, if they choose to be counter of course you will see all manners of uh, action. Yeah. But people were praying for the president that this is a president we elected. And that's where legitimacy comes in in governance. When people genuinely elect their leaders, you will see that the reaction will be there. If you compare maybe what, was, what has been going on on social media with the reality that people demonstrated yesterday, you will see that there, there was some measure of uh, mismatch. If NSC had looked, uh, really, really read the uh, feeling of the people, people are, not, the people are not against the president. People are against hardship. And they realized that the hardship that people are going through now is not, uh, was not manufactured by the president. This is uh, a cumulative effect of what has been happening over the years. We've been hearing all manners of stories of using of ways and means to fund governance, which is not the right thing to do. People are against hardship, yes. but the president also has a responsibility to you know, cushion the hardship. And um, yes. he did say that there's no excuse that he takes full responsibility. Yes, and that's... The adverse outcomes of the policy reforms yeah. we've seen in the onset of his administration. Sure. The most important thing is that he says that Nigeria will overcome the current economic hardship, and we're counting on that. Yeah. But everyone is talking about your conversation with Mr. President at the Olowo of Owo Palace. You know, there's a picture that featured you, yeah. the president, yeah and the governor yes. and i've read a lot of versions of that story but since you are here now what actually happened what did he say uh, well uh you know i'm not the presidential spokesperson mm. so you will not expect me that if the if i have a privilege and the president had a discussion with me he, he was talking uh in the open anyway so people listen to his conversation but honestly he did not send me on the message to people to begin to rebroadcast whatever i have said mm. so my own landing on that would just be to say that come those who listen to the conversation can make whatever they want to want to make out of it. If the president, the president spoke to me as uh, Shwajibola met in Nubu to Bola Ilori, we've known ourselves for decades. So we can discuss. Okay, let me tell you what. And that discuss, since, since, discussion is not... Uh, since you are not opening up on it, yeah. some said he mentioned that. Bola, where are you now? Yes. Where do you stand? Yeah. And then you were quoted to say that you are with the state governor. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. And then, so what did he say afterwards? <laughs> <laughs> I will leave uh, the, uh, Dr. Bayo <laughs> to, to clarify. Well, let's, oh, okay, let's talk about the political implication yeah. of Akiti's demise. Because I had an exclusive with the Ondo State Governor last week, Friday. And that was the first time he opened up publicly about his intention to run. Yeah. You know, and he, he also mentioned that the disagreement that was widely reported between him and the former governor did not exist. That is very hard to believe, you know, based on the things we reported and the things we saw for ourselves. But what do you think is the current reality right now? Particularly how divided you think the APC is after the death of the marketing? The APC is not a divided house. People are, are struggling for ticket of the party, and you express, which is legitimate. So there is no controversy in that. Mm -hmm. Everybody is trying to win uh, party members to his or our own side. And honestly, that is legitimate. For now, there is no division within APC. 
and we pray that it continues to be so. I have spoken with countless number of former cabinet members yeah. in the past administration. Who wants to run for governor? Yeah. There are five House of Reps members of the APC in Ondosin who wrote an open letter yeah. against Mr. Governor. Uh, so yes. how can you say your party is not divided? That, that's not a division within the party. People have reason to complain. Politics is about it's power play. So people who feel that the turn of event, the death of uh, the middle past governor has changed the dynamics of the politics. Mm. You know, those say there's no doubt about that. And the dynamics has favored some people, has worked against some people, and that's how life is. So you can't blame anybody for that. And everybody who, who feels that they had been, uh, is on the negative side of the turn of event, who complain. So that's not that public issue. letter says that Governor Aidatua is now working with the supposed enemies of the former governor. Who are, the, who are supposed to be the enemy of the governor? Maybe you will know better. I don't know. <laughs> the governor, <laughs> let me tell you, all of us were in this same party. Maybe people who were not, you know, friendly with, friendly with, with the former him. governor. They are still member of the party. Mm. Ah, that's how life can turn at times. Mm. Uh, president Shegu Obasanjo was to be killed. He eventually became the president. So some people will, will be against, events will turn against some people. And it's his natural way of life. It, it's just for us to appeal to those who felt that initially they were favored, but God in his own way played another game, which is different. And uh, they are on the other side. They can still gain mm. another time. Mm. Those who did not gain then might be gaining now. And it's still the act of God. But nobody, let me put this on record, mm. can say that Loki has not been fair to him or her. Another question that has been raised yeah. is whether or not it was Akete's wish to have Lucky succeeding. Because I spoke with a former commissioner for finance who said that, who categorically mentioned that he's Akete's anointed successor, that, you know, former governor told him that he wants him to become next governor. Uh, well, uh, maybe that was their own pri private conversation. Mm. But the former governor, me, and your station was there, told me by himself and on tape that he will be decreasing and yet that he will be increasing. That he was told when? me. That was when? That was, that was long that, before the crisis in October that was, last year. I mean, the, on, it, was on never, last year. it was never part of that crisis. Mm. It were people, they were the people around him that were formulating one crisis or the other. And the people of Ondo State showed who, where they stood on the matter. And I think you are not in doubt of where they stood on that matter. Is that the, 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 the law there is procedure to all of this thing. Are you that he was the deputy governor? You cannot erode him out just because you wish. The governor never told anybody that he has anointed another person. What he told everybody on record, on tape, which I visited him and he told me. And on tape, your, your station was there when I visited him. Mm. He said, this is the person that will uh, take over from me. He will be reducing that he, Akechi, will be reducing why Loki will be increasing. He said it by himself, by his very foundation. Sounds like what Jesus said to, I mean, what um, John, John the Baptist he said. He said Jesus about Jesus. Jesus. So it's not for, uh, I did not manufacture that. Okay. And you know, Akechi, mm. very blunt, very straightforward, determined man. But all, that. all of these dramatic episodes, how much impact do you think it's had on, you know, the legacy of Akechi himself? You know, the way and manner, the final months of his life played out. And the conversations that surrounded whether or not he should have yielded power early for his deputy. You see, all of us were all learning, and uh, I'm sure that people have learned from that uh, interaction between Akechi, the, the uh, his people, and Loki. I think that people will know that there are times and seasons in the affairs of men. I think if Akechi had done the needful early, he would not have given room to those who they now call Kaba. And we've seen it at the presidency before, during Yaradua. It's the same, the same thing played out. Coincidentally, our former governor was MBA leadership there. And he was among the people who canvassed for the doctrine of necessity. But when it was time for him to act that conviction, yeah. uh, maybe the, 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 the reverse was the case. But be that as it may, God, the ultimate decider of event, has put it as it is. What is important is that, is Lucky doing well? 
That I think that is the question that is germane now. We're going to allow the Yondo people to decide that, yeah. you know. And I can't take your word for it because you're supporting Lucky already. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, uh, who, who doesn't but, want to be lucky? But, you know, one of the reactions I saw from that interview with yeah. Mr. Governor last week, Friday, yeah. was the fact that some people were saying, uh -uh, why would you declare, for, uh, declare your ambition mm. on the day your predecessor was laid to rest? Do you think it was too early for him to say? Yeah. that he wanted to run. I think people, don't forget that these primaries we are talking about is just like, uh, is a little less than a month away. So for him to have even uh, uh, waited this length of time, I will give, we give it to him that he's extreme patient. Mm -hmm. And people were agitated that come, are you in this or are you out? By the way, the other supporters had even announced their ambition earlier on before. Before, before so he had even shown, yes. let's give it to him that the guy has done well so far so good. And we can only hope that on those things will be lucky this time around. Well, there's a major challenge now ahead of your party in April. Yeah. Everyone yeah. wants to take over, you know, from the governor. It's, it's good. That shows that the party is popular. How do you think your party will survive this in uh, the primary election? We have always been surviving it one way or the other. It was even much more cantagueros. Mm -hmm. And the party has been able to move on. And let me tell you, one thing that on those states is lucky about for now is the personality of the current governor. He's calm. He's not, and he's not uh, frivolous with what? And he's not somebody who is aggressive or maybe somebody who just creates crisis where there is none. I'm sure that he will find a way to appease people and make this, this, the town is calm and things are working well. I can tell you, even those who are against him are doing well. And that is how a party should be. People are conversing their own wish. I must just be somewhere. You understand? Maybe the conversation between myself and the president brought me out on the matter but i honestly i have no regret because it was the the president was excited seeing me he was uh, talking so people were listening and you know everybody's antenna was up to big pillars uh, hey, and he, the the conversation might have favored some people are you saying that the president is supporting lucky i that i never i can never say that because <laughs> Number one, I'm not the spokesperson of the president, and the president did not send me on any message to anybody. But I'm the president's boy, and he has a way of talking to me. He spoke to me in the language only me and him can decode. Mm. Whoever now decides to decode it whichever way, I can only wish the person the best of luck. I think the election is in November, right? No, the primaries is no, no, the first. No, the main election itself. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I'm sure your party will also be hoping that things would have gotten better on the national level. Uh, let me because tell you. Because the way everybody is talking about hunger right now, yeah. I'm not sure it will favor the APC at the polls. You, if, we have a, if we have an election now, for we've instance. We've been having an election. Mm. And what has the result? Let me tell you. People have local peculiarities to some of these things. Facebook is a general thing. Social media is a general uh, 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 aggregator of people. But when it comes to election, people drilling down, they look at what is happening in their own neighborhood, mm. not just the national. And the national will have improved. It's like somebody, if, if a kid is sick and you give the person an injection, will he not have pain? He will have pain now. So you prefer not to have the pain and the guy, the guy can die, or the pain will be administered and we hope that the guy will, be, we'll will, get, be, better. will get better. Dollar is coming down now. Ah, we pray that it goes down and down. And see what Lagos is doing. And not just only Lagos. Look at what Oyo is also proposing. Ogun is proposing. If we have all these governors, because before, everybody has been all eyes on Federal. But life, life happens at local government. I've been a local government chairman in this Lagos before. And I know that some of these responsibilities we blame Federal government for is even local government matter. So if we have each tier of government become more responsible, you will see how things will be. Indeed. We have to go now. Things will do well in Nigeria. I'm hopeful that, honestly, the president has been an advocate of, uh, uh, what is it called, uh, reforms in Nigeria. And he has started Indeed. with your Asanye, with uh, dollar, with Indeed. this finance, with so many things. These are hard decisions that must be made for us to scale. We have run out of time. We have to go now. APC Chief Tenen on those state. <laughs> A very interesting conversation, I must yes, say. Thank, uh, thank you so much for talking to us, Bolai Lori. You're welcome. Sir. And that's our show today, everyone. You can watch it again at midnight and at 6 a.m. tomorrow. I am Nifemi. We're going to be back tomorrow asking the tough questions. Join us again. Stop! Bolai, Hamed Chinobu, do solemnly swear.